Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. Yeah, I have this Coleman rechargeable lantern of mine. I once made a video because I loved it so much. It works so well. Well, it's quit working on me. It's several years old now, and now I have to see if I could repair it. I have the Coleman adapter to charge it. Plug in my adapter. See what happens here. And as you see, when I plug it in, you get a charging light saying that it's charging. But I could leave this hooked up for hours and it's not going to work. So I'm thinking something's wrong with the batteries. So first I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to check the voltage coming out of the adapter. And according to my voltmeter, it's reading 19 volts, 0.76. According to the adapter, it's supposed to put out 13.5. But I know the voltage has got to be a little bit higher than the battery voltage. And I'm thinking it's putting out something, so it's probably good. I don't know for sure. But anyways, I have four screws holding this bottom on. Let me remove them and pull out the bottom and see what I have here. And I'm surprised. I, I thought I'd have several D-type batteries. I got one big battery. I'll pull it out. Let me check my voltage on this battery and see what it is. Get my voltmeter out. Put it in volts DC. And I'm reading zero volts on my battery. So that's probably why it's dead. Zero is pretty much dead. So I'm going to disconnect my wires from the battery. Noting what wires are negative and which ones are positive. You don't want to screw this up. Put it on. Let me hook up my battery charger. See what kind of volts I got there. I got 6.9. So it's a 6 volt battery. So I'm going to guess that's good. Remember, whenever you're doing these checks, polarity is important. Now I'm taking my uh, battery charger. I'm going to test the lights on the lantern. But I'll make another video to show you how I did this. It takes my internet too long to upload if I make videos too long. But anyways, I found a battery similar to it on Amazon. They rent went anywhere from five to thirty-five dollars. Make sure trying to verify what size it is. It was a six volt battery. And this is the closest I could find to the one I had in there. May look like it's gonna work. Terminals are in the right spot. So on my old battery I had little spacers stuck to the side of it to make sure it's stuck in there nice and tight and didn't wiggle around and would have no movement so I could not remove the old spacers and keep keep where they would stick so I'm just taking duct tape and I'm trying to roll it up to the same thickness of the original spacers and sticking it on the side of the battery you want to make sure you have a good tight secure compartment for that battery to sit in and I just roll up the electric tape and I'm sticking it to the same spots on the new battery as the old battery had. And then here, my terminals are a little bit loose, so I'm going to tighten them up by squeezing them a little bit. Making sure you hit hook red to red and black to black. You don't want to cross these terminals or you could have a fire, blow up your battery, could have serious harm done. So anyways, I can't hook up the ground terminal until the battery's installed. With this duct tape, let's see if I'm going to be able to squeeze it on in here. Make sure it's all nice and snug and it isn't going to move around. It slid in there pretty easily. So now I still have my negative terminal to hook up. Make sure I got my black wire to hook to that one. Fits in there nice and tight. So I can't reach it with my finger, so I got to use a pair of needle nose to slide it in place looks good looks like this duct tape is going to work real good so I need to take this try to put it in there as well or as close to the original way the old battery sat in there go ahead and place my bottom on here and line up all my holes for my mounting screws well, it looks like I got really lucky. It looks like I lined it up perfectly the first time. Huh. 
get all them screws mounted and get them secured. One thing I did not do that I should have done is I should have checked my battery voltage before I stuck it in. But it looks like it must have some volts on. My light's working now. It has four positions off, night light, bright, and low. Or high and low. Looks like I got lucky. That new battery looks like it's working fine. Now for the big thing is you want to hook my charger up, see if I get a charging light, and I do. And then when you're charging that brand new battery, monitor it closely, put it somewhere safe. That's where you have problems with batteries. Some of them aren't compatible with other chargers. Could overheat, catch on fire, blow up. And that's another reason you got to make sure you have the polarity of those wires all hooked up right. Because if you cross them, it could cause an explosion. Could ruin the battery. So make sure you verify them wires before you hook them up. But I'm just learning right now that the high and low position don't work when the charger is plugged in. Night light works. Let me unplug the charger. High, low, working fine. Well, looks like we got this fixed. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.